Hi everyone and welcome to this week's video. This week I have a piece of maple that I've been drying for about two years now and I'm using a face plate to mount it on the lathe. I cut the corners off but my bandsaw blade wasn't the greatest so I am chewing it up on the lathe here. Just taking some light passes. So after taking the first few passes, here I am again trying to true it up, ta taking light passes once again. My sign language there was uh, telling you that it's about uh, 200 RPM. And there you saw I'm now at about 330 RPM. Stopping frequently to check because it does have some cracks. Using the Carter and Son bowl gouge here, my usual go to tool. There's a link in the video description uh, to Carter and Sons. I am not Carter and Son, not plural. Um, I am not supported by them, I'm not affiliated. They're just a great tool company. So getting the lathe going a little bit faster here. It's hard when you're at 200. But as you can see, it's coming into round. Now I'm going to be working on the bottom. Turning off most of that bark on what will be the underside of the bowl. Once again, stopping frequently to check the progress, make any adjustments needed, and back at it. Adjusting the tool rest. It's always important to turn the lathe off when you're adjusting the tool rest. And if you're not a wood turner and you watch these for relaxation um, or for fun, uh, it's, for me anyway, it's rare that I turn a bowl without stopping frequently. It's just something I do for safety. And you have to stop to reposition anyway, so I like to turn the lathe off and get a good look at what's going on making a recess here and a foot and now using the four jaw chuck in expansion mode and mounting it back on the lathe to start uh, hollowing out the bowl Seeing how trued up it is, how more, much more balance I have to uh, give it, and just taking light passes. I do know that there's a crack in it, but I did not expect that necessarily. <laughs> and coming up here in a second, we have the slow motion replay. Now, when I posted a clip of this exploding on my Facebook page, there was tons and tons of commenters saying how unsafe I was and how idiotic I was and I had no place in turning, etc., etc. Um, I did know the risks. I do know the risks going in. I was wearing full protective gear. And for those of you who say, while well, you're wearing gloves, that's not safe, these are... Um, uh, vinyl gloves and if they ever got caught on something they would just rip right off 
Um, but when you're turning something with resin, it, it hurts when it hits the hand or the arm. So this one was hitting the my hands. So using a color called Bubble Gum from Beaver Dust Pigments and filling this thing up from the bottom. And as you saw, it cracked completely in half. Use tuck tape to uh, get it back together, pour that resin in, and now we're back to turning. A little bit of a slow process here. Uh, because I'm trying to be as safe as possible. And when you're turning resin with wood, sometimes it can be a little bit tricky, but it all turns out okay in the end. Uh, to make matters a little bit worse, I had two screws that broke off uh, from the faceplate, so I had to stop. Um, I didn't film it, um, and with the speed out uh, drill bit, get those out. So that took a few minutes. So it doesn't look very pretty so far, but it's gonna get there, I promise. Using the robust interior curved tool rest. There is a link for that in the video description. Finalizing the shape of the bowl here, as you can see those shavings coming off are uh, really fine shavings. Still a little bit of tuck tape on there that I'm also, uh, it's difficult to peel off so I'm just turning it off. But this top down view gives you a good idea of how the shape um, comes to be. More really fine shavings here as you can see. Hey, if you've watched this far in the video, I'd really appreciate it and it would really help me out if you're not subscribed to hit the subscribe button. It really helps me be able to uh, make more content. So I'm using some Starbond CA glue here with Accelerator to fill in some of those little cracks that the resin didn't quite get to. And this combination works really well together as you'll see in the finished piece. It's also a discount for Starbond in the video description. If you need some CA glue, save yourself some money and use that link. And everything is staying together really well. I didn't film the two hours of sanding, uh, but this is, I'm cleaning off the dust with denatured alcohol. When that dries, I'm coming back and using sanding sealer here, one coat of sanding sealer. And once that dried, I'm using a, uh, quadruple zero steel wool to denib it to make sure it's nice and smooth before I start using the Axe uh, abrasive paste, which you see here. And it's very easy to use Axe, the Axe product, the wood turning paste and the polishing paste, which you'll see in a moment. It is as easy as you see on the screen. And everyone who has tried it based on my recommendation has written me back and said how much they love it. So use the discount code in the video description and you can get yourself some Axe wood turning and polishing paste as well. Be sure to check out my website, pfwoodturning.com, to buy this or other things that I make. The link's in the video description. I'm using the branding iron here to put my logo on it. And I'll see you guys later. Hi everyone, thanks so much for watching this week's project video. Before I show you up close of the finished piece, I just wanna say don't forget to hit subscribe. It really does help my channel and helps me keep making videos. Don't forget to smash the like button and hit that little notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. So here is the finished piece.
This one was a pain in the you know what, but I like how it turned out. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments. Don't go anywhere just yet because I'm gonna put some beauty shots up, some stills. But before I do that, I just wanted to say thank you to Total Boat, Starbond, and Axe Wood Paste. You can get discount codes to all of those great vendors down in the video description. If you wanna save yourself some money, go, go check those out. Uh, highly recommended, they're all great, great products. But until next week, guys, peace out. One more thing before I let you go, I do have a, a website, pfwoodturning.com. I also have an Etsy page where you can go ahead and check out either of those sites if you wanna purchase anything. I, I do make other things that I don't create videos about. I'm gonna show you one of them now. It's a cutting board or charcuterie board. Would you be interested in seeing a video about making this or these kinds of things? The non-turning woodwork. If you would like to see some of this in a video or a video of this being made, uh, let me know down in the comments. If you're interested, um, I'll film them. I do make quite a few of these. This, this is just one. But one of my favorites. I just love that, that, that blue. Anyway, peace out.